Okay, this is going to be a short video to show how to replace the standard nut and bolt style fastening devices on the GSG-5. As you can see, this is a GSG-5 SD. And I'm going to show you using these HK style push pins. They're the straight pin with the small spring-loaded clip at the end. Makes it a lot easier for cleaning and quick removal. Also, they won't come loose like the standard screw does uh, throughout use of the gun. I did pick these up at Rages.com. I'm in no way affiliated with them, but it was good service, so I figured I'd mention where I got these just in case somebody was looking, wondering where to pick them up. So, we'll begin here. I'm going to show you how to do this. This does, I will mention, this does come with four pins in the set. One longer, three shorter. Depending on the, the gun you're doing, and you can use these on a variety of guns, it may need two short, one long, one long, three short, whatever the case may be. This particular GSG will only need two pins, and they will both be the shorter variety. So I'm going to show you how this works and uh, how to replace them. Obviously, tools I'm going to use are pretty simple. Screwdriver, a little punch, and a drill to drill out the hole that needs to be size correctly. So first I'm going to pull out these screws. And this gun has not been done ahead of time, just so you know this is this is how you actually do it. You can see the little set screw that holds that in. Not bad, but not ideal for a gun anyways. Second screw. So that's the second one. I'm going to take my punch. Anything would work, a small screwdriver. All you're doing is trying to get in there. Actually, that one fell right out, so that's even easier. And what you want to do is just push on the inside of that pin. Let me lay this down. And that pushes right through. And it comes right out. So what this was in the past was a bolt and the screw screwed into it. We're going to replace it with the hinged mechanism that's a lot easier to use. So I'm just going to set those two aside. I always keep the old parts just in case. As you can see, this will let the butt come right off of there. That's all that holds that on there. And same for the bottom, but I'm not going to do that now. Now the first one, you'll see I'm going to take the shorter one, push right through there. It sticks out a little farther than the old screw did, but this is good. That gives you that leeway. It can rattle a little. That's fine because it's not going to come out. The whole point is that it's holding that position in there. The set screw, if it came loose and that rattled loose, the other pin could work its way out with, if you didn't notice. Now on the back here, where the set screw side was, I'm going to take my pin, it's not going to fit in there. It'll actually fit in the other side, but then it'll stop when it gets to the other side because it's a little, little smaller. So what I've done is I've just taken a, a drill bit, I've matched up the size I need, and I'm just going to drill this stock just a hair. Now, of course, you want to do this precisely because you can't put material back in, but it's real simple. I think I got it all the way through there in that amount of time. And then I'm going to go ahead and test it from this side. Didn't quite make it. I'm going to just ream that out a little. Push pin will fit snugly. That one you can see. My drill bit may be a little too small, but I'm going to go ahead and, for the sake of the video, just use the same one and ream it out. Okay, so putting this buttstock back together, just slide it right on. You do want to kind of look down the hole and make sure that it's lined up. If the, if the stock is off slightly, I don't know if you can see it there, but the hole is not going to be the right size. So you do need to line that up. Put your push pin in once it goes in there. And you do want to start from the other side. That's a good lesson for everyone there. Because you got the recessed side on this side. So I'm going to put it through. Push it in. You can see it fits flush there. Sticks through this side. And that's it. That's the HK push pin update. Real simple, real quick. And uh, worth, worth your time and $14.99 for the pins. Thanks.